we cannot see without light and our eyes. The visual ability of humans and other animals is a result of a complex interaction of light, eyes and the brain. We are able to see because light from an object can move through space and reach our eyes. Once light reaches our eyes, signals are sent to our brain. Our brain interprets the information. We are able to detect the appearance, location and if there are moving objects, we can see them too. In a dark room, we cannot see anything. Objects are present, our eyes are present, our brain is also there. But in absence of light, we are not able to see anything at all. All objects can be placed in two categories. Ones that give out light of their own and we call them luminous objects. The others that can send back light to us or reflect light are called illuminated objects. Most of the objects either send back light, absorb some light or let it pass through them. Now the luminous objects could be natural like the sun or the stars or some glow worms or even some fish that give out their own light. Their secretions allow it to glow. The other objects could be artificially illuminous such as the torch or the candle or an electric bulb. All other objects on which light falls and they reflect back are illuminated objects. In front of us we have just few options. This is a torch which is of course a luminous object when I light it. This is a small laser torch which is again a luminous object. The battery allows it to convert the chemical energy into electrical energy first and thereafter into light energy. When it falls on these objects, they get illuminated, they reflect back the different colors and we are able to see them as they are. Once this luminous object is lit, you cannot see the track of light, but you will be able to see anything that comes in its path. For example, if I put my hand here, I am able to see my hand, but I do not see the path of light. Likewise, when I shine this on this toy, the toy can be seen, but how the light beam is going from here to there is not visible to us. So, light requires something on which it reflects or from which it is pushed back or sent back and then we can see or get the sensation of its path. We have seen the magic of light. We enjoy and appreciate the world around us because of light.